Good morning, brothers and sisters, in Jesus Christ and the Holy Mary. Tuesday, 3rd September 2019. Reading of the first letter of the Apostle St. Paul to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 1 to 6 and 9 to 11. And we begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You do not need anyone to write to you about the delay and the appointed time for these events. You know perfectly for these events, well, that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. When people feel secure and at peace, the disaster will suddenly come upon them. As the birth pangs upon pregnant women, and they will not escape. But you brothers are not under in darkness, so that this day will not surprise you like a thief. All of you are citizens of the light and the day. We do not belong to night and darkness. Let us not therefore fall asleep as others do, but remain alert and sober. For God has not will us to be condemned, but to win salvation through Christ Jesus our Lord. He died for us so that we might enter into life with Him, whether we are still awake or already asleep. Therefore, encourage to one another to build up one another as you are doing now. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm number 27. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Together, I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is the fortress of my life. Of whom should I be afraid? I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. One thing I ask of the Lord, one thing I seek, that I might dwell in His house all the days of my life, to gaze at His beauty and seek counsel in His sanctuary. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I hope to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Put your hope in the Lord. Be strong and courageous. Yes, put your hope in the Lord. I believe that I should see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! <clears throat> A great prophet had risen in our midst, and God hath visited his people. Hallelujah! Reading of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Chapter 4. Verse 31 <clears throat> to 37. Jesus went down to Capernaum 
a town of Galilee and began teaching the people at the Sabbath meetings. They were astonished at the way he thought them, for he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man possessed by an evil spirit, and he shut up in a loud voice, What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? You have come to destroy us. I know who you are. You are the Holy One of God. Then Jesus rebuked him and said, Be silent and leave this man. The evil spirit then threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. A base sizzle and the people on they say to one another, What does this mean? He commands the evil spirit with authority and power and see how they come out. And news about Jesus spread <coughs> throughout the surrounding area. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. And this Tuesday, we got to go back to work. Today was the last day of the long weekend. Thank God. <laughs> Today, in this uh, first reading, uh, I will say that in a, in a big sense, the Thessalonians were this group of people. You know that in our church, we have so many different groups. We have the charismatic, we have the Maria Movement of Priests, we have the Katemkumenon. We have, you know, so many diversity groups in our church. And, you know, this whole different groups, they become one group in our church. So here we see how the Thessalonians were asking things. And then you ask yourself, so what they were asking, you know, they already live in grace. They already, but they were, they wanted to know more. And this is one of the things that we can see in this in this reading today that they wanted to know and Paul was to be able to be ready. You don't even know when it's gonna be the time, the hour that is just gonna come. It's just gonna come. You better be ready and prepare. And then if he find you that way, it's like you are the child of the light. You don't live in darkness. So when you live in darkness, you like a thief, you know, you know the thief. Have you seen any thief lately? You know, they're like looking around and so scared they're going to get cut. Exactly. If you're not in grace and Jesus the Lord comes down from heaven and the judgment time comes, you'll be like, oh, you know, don't, don't wait until get to that point. Let's be, you know, be, be truthful. Let's just try to get ahead of this. And live in grace. That's why he's gonna either for the one that are asleep. The, the yesterday we were talking about this brothers and sisters they already passed away. They were sad about them, but then he mentioned that even even now those that live in Christ, they already Christ took them with him, and they already enjoying the feast of the of the Lord that, that is mentioned on the scriptures. And now he's telling us, you, we're behind. So we already know all the scriptures. We know that Paul went through a lot of things. All these different apostles went through a lot of things. But then now we are here. It's our time. So what are we going to do? So are we going to go through a lot of things? Or are we just going to follow Jesus? And this is a beautiful way of the way that is mentioned on the scriptures to follow Jesus, to be ready, to be ahead. You know, it's like when you play chess, you got to be four or five moves ahead. If not, you get to checkmate in three moves. You don't want to be in that point, in, in that part of the, of the table. 
of the game, so it's hard. It happens to me before. So, brothers and sisters, in the gospel today, we are seeing how Jesus goes out and he starts preaching, you know, and people were, oh, they were like, ah. They were like, oh, man, listening to Jesus was like, it's like listening to, to these days to one of those uh, preachers that you listen and you're like, wow, the way he talked, the way he teach me, I can understand him. And that's, that is a gift. That is a talent. Not a lot of people can have those kind of talents that you can talk to a person and can understand you, what you mean with that. So today we see how this evil man has, not an evil man, an evil spirit that he sees Jesus and he's already scared of, you know, they're, they're going to finish them. You know, the end, if you read the Bible, you see how it's going to end the whole, the whole, the whole scripture. It bring us to, to be, it's, it's a constant fight between good and evil. And you see here how evil start like going, trying to, to, to scream at him and telling all these things. But Jesus rebuked him and he took him out. And these days, this is what is going on in, in, in our church. We, we see people sometimes acting like they have an evil or two inside. And sometimes we're not like uh, uh, so with authority to tell the person, listen, you are doing something wrong. Don't dress like that to church. You're going to church. A lot of men's going to look at you like you, hello, are you going to provoke somebody or anything and, and, and that's how today this evil just come inside with the you know a nice look and everything they think that that is a nice look but then it is a bad thing and today we need to learn from Jesus if you see something wrong you gotta tell the devil you gotta get out this is not your home this is Jesus home and this is a place of worship God and this is something that we these days need to get up and say something. You know, uh, I remember uh, when Obama was in power and it's, you see something, say something. But in our church, if you see something evil like Jesus saw today, he rebuked him and took him out. Don't stay quiet against, against the evil thing because it is a brother that it might be needing some help from us. Like that man. If Jesus wouldn't take the devil out of him, that guy would be, you know, continuing having that possession for the rest of his life. Can you imagine that? Living that way until the end of times and then after that, at least Jesus did that and we need to do something in our church for all this many different things that is happening these days. And these days, what is happening that we let that go by and we don't say anything in our church and you know we need to be more stand up to the devil in, in our own church we cannot be scared of him that's why today he's teaching us to rebuke and to take that devil out of that man and today's uh, readings we can see how the Lord it's really giving us that hope it is encouraging us to start this new life with Christ. When you with Christ, nothing can go against you because you are with with the Lord. That that it's is the power, the supreme power of the whole universe. And listen, I, I don't know about you, but I'm not that tall. But when I'm with, with outside in the, in the school back in the days. And I was around this guy that was 6'3", and all this big, I was like, oh man, man, I'm in between this two big guy that's going to defend me. And that's the way it goes with the Christ. It really is going to defend us. So see today how this teaching and, and Capernaum, this thing, this people doubting, where are all these things coming from? They were amazed of the word and everything that he was saying. But at the same time, you know, they were like not a hundred percent. 
brothers and sisters, I welcome you again in this uh, channel of Efraín Rodríguez Ortiz. I'm a member of the Marian Movement of Priests and Apostles here in New York. I welcome you again. I invite you to subscribe into the channel if you haven't do, do so yet. So go ahead and do it. Share this reflection with other people. You know, if you hit the bell, you will get the notifications. And we do this every single day. Every single day. Thanks again. And may God bless you today and always. Oh, almost forgot. Remember, 5th of October, we have, an, uh, we have a date with the parade of the Virgin Mary for all around the world. It's going to be in Manhattan, uh, Amsterdam. And it's going to be from the, uh, Street 86 to the Church of the Asuncion. We're going to wait for you there. It's going to start at 12 p.m. October 5th. It's a, it's a Saturday, I believe. And the Marian Movement of Priests is going to be at the debut in this year. So we are working hard for this uh, Carrosa uh that we're going to have our Virgin Mary, and uh, we hope that everything goes as we are planning. Uh, today was the first meeting, and everything go as planned. Thank you again, and may God bless you today and always. Amen.